Hello, hi everyone. I am Sanjay Gupta, and uh, I welcome you back on uh, Skill Horizons official YouTube channel. So today, uh, this is day nine of this hundred days Salesforce hands-on challenge, and uh, this this is a guide for you uh, where you can learn the things. Okay, so uh, like I, I I remember like uh, last month only I started this series and. Uh, we are already on this day nine and uh, uh, like today also we will be learning something new <coughs> so initially i am trying to finish up the scenario and challenges related to flows so i think today i will be covering about uh, scheduled triggered flow <coughs> and probably from day 10 uh, we will be starting something related to the related to the code okay so moving forward so this this was the idea behind this uh, series like we we planned uh, 100 uh, sessions that that i will be doing live with you and in every session we'll be having some sort of challenge and then we'll discuss uh, it together and every monday and wednesday at 8 pm ist we'll be doing these sessions so we are skill horizon and we are a proud trailblazer workforce partner so if you or anybody in your circle want to learn salesforce and want to do job readiness program so want to join job readiness program so just uh, share this website with them so we are doing online as well as offline training and uh, uh, we in, in in our offline training we provided good placements in online also we are providing some uh, information related to the, related to the job so both are both are going good and uh, uh, you, you can just explore the courses and recently we are going to start about uh, agent force and data cloud training also so from next month that uh, that training will be starting okay so uh, generally when we do the uh, program so we we just focus on concepts along with the hands-on exercises and we follow uh, some projects as well so that you can you can learn everything practically okay so this is why you can study with skill horizon this says the slide where you can have the QR codes, you can follow our uh, Instagram and Telegram community. Okay, and if you like today's stream, just hit the like button. This is the challenge that we are having for you. Okay, so this is a scheduled triggered flow challenge and we'll see how uh, scheduled triggered flow basically works in Salesforce so that you will be having enough knowledge. I, I'm sure like you are already uh, familiar with this particular flow, but still, uh, with this challenge we will kind of revise this okay so i will ask you to implement along with me because in every challenge i can see lots of enthusiasm from your side uh, many people implement uh, the implementation along with me so i am very happy with that like uh, this this uh, 100 days hands on challenge is becoming a refresher for you okay so it will be helping for the beginners and the experienced folks so if you want to have a refresh so I think all these sessions will be helpful. So what we need to do in this challenge, we need to update all leads where lead source is web. Okay, and uh, we need to update the website field on leads with skillhorizon.org.in. So before I implement the flow, we need to check the data, like what is the status of the data? So what you can do, you can just go to the leads tab in the org and uh, Salesforce is providing this intelligent view. You might have uh, experience this view this is an intelligent view which is available on leads accounts contacts so uh, they are improving their ui now if you want to see the data so what you can do on top right corner we have this list view option so just click on this list view option and uh, if you click so here we'll be able to see all open leads okay so here all the leads are available i am just pinning it so before you implement any schedule triggered flow so make sure to verify the data that is already available because in case of screen flow it is a like interactive flow in case of record triggered flow when you create update delete record then your flow will be working auto launch flow we call with other flow but in case of scheduled triggered flow if you want to do anything on the existing record existing data then this will be used so before you implement your scheduled triggered flow you just need to see what kind of data you are already having in the org so this is the dummy data which is available in salesforce org and here what i'm going to do i am selecting a field 
so i need to select lead source first okay i am adding lead source and then i am going to add website so that i can check what is the status of the data so lead source i added and uh, website i added so i am going to check the status so website you can see it is all blank all the records are not having any website populated and there are lead source available so uh, web then purchase so web is available five times and uh, other than web we have uh, different pick list values in the lead source like phone inquiry uh, partner referral something like that okay so as per our requirement what we need to do if lead source is web then only we need to update and uh, uh, website field we need to update and it will be having this particular value right so we have data now now we need to we need to implement a scheduled triggered flow once your scheduled triggered flow is scheduled then uh, it will be executing and automatically these records will be uh, updated so you don't need to do anything on the record you just need to create the flow and then you just need to schedule it so moving to setup and now i'm going to create a flow for you okay so if you are already expert in flow so i would say you can go with me and uh, let's implement together so let's see who completes it first i i hope uh, you will be quicker than me so just try to implement the solution and test it out so i'm just clicking on scheduled here we have this scheduled triggered flow i am choosing it now first of all we need to set the uh, date and time so i'm not going to set it in the beginning first i will be implementing the complete flow okay as per best practice just completely implement the flow and at the time of saving and activating you can just set these start date and time because if you fix it in the beginning so after implementation obviously it will change so you can choose the object as an entry condition and uh, here we can say lead source equals web and we need to update those uh, those website field where it is not null is null false is null true so lead source is web and website is null okay if, if both the conditions are matching only those records we need to process okay if lead source is web and website is already populated then we don't need to modify if lead source is web and uh, website is null so all those records we need to modify okay so this will be the entry condition now what we need to do here here we'll be updating the records so simply use update record and uh, what will happen when you configure this schedule triggered flow so based on the entry condition all the records will be fetched and those records will be available one by one in the dollar record global variable okay in this dollar record global variable all those records will be available which will be fetched by this flow so what will happen you can simply write update lead website and uh, here we can say website and then skill horizon.org.in okay so it is checking how to find records to update which record we need to update so use the lead dollar record global variable so if this variable is having some uh, record so that will be updated okay so with this value it will get updated right so this way uh, i just mentioned the entry condition okay i provided the entry condition and here we have this update lead uh, website this element update element which is going to update the website field on the lead record so this is configured now we need to set up the date and time okay so i just need to check the org company information so that i can see the time zone and accordingly i will be setting the time so it is pst okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to open a record and uh, if i do any modification here so i will be able to check the last modified date and time okay so i'm just changing the rating on this record so that i can see last modified date time so it is 7:39 am okay as per pst time so accordingly i am going to uh, put the date and time here so it was 7:39 so here i am putting set schedule so date is for today and uh, 739 instead of that i'm going to put 
सेवन फोर्टी टू ओके आफ्टर टू थ्री मिनट्स इट विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड फ्रीक्वेंसी आई एम कीपिंग एज वंस सो दैट ओनली वन टाइम इट विल एग्जीक्यूट एंड इट विल नॉट रिपीट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सेव सो आई कैन से अपडेट लीड रिकॉर्ड्स ओके और यू कैन से मास अपडेट लीड रिकॉर्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्केड्यूल रिकॉर्ड फ्लो सो आई एम जस्ट सेविंग इट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू एक्टिवेट इट सो वंस यू एक्टिवेट सो अ स्केड्यूल जॉब एंट्री विल बी क्रिएटेड फॉर दिस ओके सो वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू हियर आई एम गोइंग टू चेक दैट सो वी कैन सर्च फॉर स्केड्यूल जॉब ओके वी कैन सर्च फॉर स्केड्यूल जॉब्स एंड हियर यू विल सी वन एंट्री इज देयर ओके सो सबमिटेड बाय संजय गुप्ता एंड हियर वी हैव दिस सबमिटेड डेट एंड टाइम देन नेक्स्ट स्केड्यूल रन इज सेम डेट एंड टाइम इज सेवन फोर्टी टू ओके एंड इट इज नॉट स्टार्टेड सो आफ्टर टू मिनट्स इट विल स्टार्ट दैन दिस डेट एंड टाइम विल शिफ्ट हेयर एंड सिंस वी सेलेक्टेड वंस सो नेक्स्ट स्केड्यूल रन विल बी ब्लैंक इफ यू सेलेक्ट डेली सो अकॉर्डिंगली नेक्स्ट स्केड्यूल रन विल बी अवेलेबल ओके and any time if you want to delete this entry so that is also possible so we just need to wait for couple of minutes so in the meantime i would uh, like to show the requirement again because if anybody who just joined so this is the requirement that we are implementing we need to update lead leads where lead sources web and we need to update the website field on leads with skillhorizon.in .org .in Okay, so I am just waiting for a couple of minutes. So I am just refreshing the page. Let's see what happens. I think one more minute we need to wait. So after that, our uh, flow will be executed, and then we will be checking the lead record. So today's challenge is quite simple, because scheduled triggered flow is very simple, and uh, we we just need to we just need to uh, configure it so that existing records can be processed all together. Okay, so I'm just waiting for one more minute so that, yeah. So if you see here, submitted at seven forty, started at seven forty two, and next schedule run is blank, because we selected frequency as once. Okay, so flow got executed. Now, if you want to verify the result, you will go to leads. So we already pinned this all open leads, and here you can see. Uh, wherever lead sources web so website is skillhorizon.org.in only five records were there where lead source was web and those records got updated right so this was the flow uh, that i implemented with the help of scheduled triggered flow and uh, you saw like all the existing record it automatically fetched and uh, based on the entry condition uh, update happened right so this way you can implement any requirement with the help of scheduled triggered flow make sure whatever records it will be fetching all those records will be stored under dollar record and one by one they will be processed okay we don't need to apply any query automatically data will be fetched and then you can do some operation and it will always work on the existing data right so that is the catch here so i hope you enjoy this uh, learning and today's session is quite simple and short uh, because uh, i i was having this type of flow left so i just picked it for today uh, from next hands on challenge like challenge number 10 i will be starting uh, to focus on the development part so we will be starting from the trigger apex trigger and then we'll see some of the challenges based on uh, like test classes so in some of the scenario i will do trigger and test class implementation together Uh, in some we can have different so it it depends like how long that scenario is okay yes aerial uh, updating records be done on a very large number of record yeah we can do so if you want to check the limit so scheduled triggered flow limitations or you can say consideration so here is the document available we just need to check what is the latest cons consideration we have so you can check this document here so maximum number of scheduled trigger flow interviews for a si uh, single flow is this
I am just checking our schedule. Trigger flows query retrieve records. Yeah, it it runs in the batches. A schedule trigger flows query retrieve records in batches of two hundred. I am just checking what is the complete uh, limit that is not mentioned here. Yeah, here number of records are not mentioned. but it was mentioned like 250k flow interviews can be there in 24 hours okay so this way you can just go through the consideration and then you can implement accordingly so subhashini i already explained like it it is working in a batches batches of 200 so 200 records will be fetched and then one by one they will be processed automatically right so it is working uh, on 200 records collection and uh, one by one those will be executed and this is happening automatically we don't need to worry about that okay i guess you guys understood like how this can be implemented and maybe this is a recap for you so Uh, I have this is I I, ha I have this only to it for today, and uh, uh, we'll be connecting tomorrow for mock interview session, okay? And uh, in in tomorrow's mock interview session also like we'll be having uh, quite good questions, so you can join that. And day after tomorrow we'll be having uh, again one more hands-on challenge, and that will be focused on the development side. Okay, so this is it for today. thank you for joining today's session uh, it was quite short but i hope you understood something new so thank you for joining and those who are watching the recording thanks to you as well okay bye everyone see you tomorrow